the Emperor stirs in the astral prison. Old Iran. Your presence has stirred me. Answer. It's been too long. We knew each other once. We crossed the Kalim together, and Ansa was my friend. Until you have you come to dance on my bones. Satisfaction. You had every and now you bring your stillness. Ansur's consciousness hovers just above yours, searching, seeing. Dear Ansa, enough! I gave you everything, Bolderan, and you repaid me in slaughter. It is time I return the favor. Let my bones rise and the storms gather. Witness, Bolderan. The final tempest has come. I am the heart of the gate. I am the one who roars. This time. You will not escape it! Where is the
Oni może... Still stuck. Yeah. Bye bye, answer. Uh, here. Yeah. Alright, at least I've killed the dragon, that's the main thing. Because he was the most. Such sentimentality. Very well. It's like I always told you. I was just like you. An adventurer who yearned for greatness. And in mortal terms, I achieved it. As captain of the Wandering Eye, I acquired enough gold to fan Baldur's Gate. I stayed for a while to watch my city grow. But it was not enough. I grew restless again. The sea cooled to me, and I ran to her with open arms. Life at sea was not easy. Our last adventure was ruinous. My ship was destroyed. My crew lost. But my spirit was far from broken. I was determined to return in triumph once again. I heard of treasure in Moonrise. I strove to find it. What I 
found was an illithid colony, where I acquired a tadpole much like yours, and became a mind flayer, enthralled to the Elder Brain. It was Ansor who found me. Ansor who pulled me from the Brain's domination. Ansor who brought me home. He sought to cure me of my sickness, called on every healer he could find, Nearly broke his spirit in the attempt. But he failed to understand. I wanted no healing. I was not sick. Even after he had exhausted all possibility of reversing my condition, he still clung to hope. I tried to convince him of my reality. I was on the cusp of greatness beyond my wildest dreams. But all he could see was a mind flayer. He came to me as I slept. A mercy killing in his mind. I saw the tears. I felt his grief. I had no choice but to kill him first. It was an act of self-preservation. I am glad you see it that way. While the past is beyond my influence, the present is not. It is time we move on. Two nether stones remain in the hands of the Chosen. We must find them before we confront the brain.